I am going to make pasta for a doll using cardstock, printables from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, a toothpick, a toilet paper roll, a nail file, recycled paperboard from a cereal box, craft paint, recycled computer paper, toilet paper, popsicle sticks, Mod Podge, a bowl of warm water, and glue. I start by cutting cream colored cardstock into thin strips. After cutting several, Gently place them in a warm bowl of water. Allow them to soak for a few minutes. Remove it from the water and then kind of just twist it around your finger. Place it on a flat surface and allow it to dry overnight. Once completely dried, brush with a layer of Mod Podge. Take a piece of toilet paper and tear it into shreds. Wet it and squeeze off the excess water. Add glue and paint. Stir. Carefully add some to the top of the pasta, then allow it to dry. Mix Mod Podge in a tiny drop of paint, paint it over the toilet paper mixture, cut the bottom of a toilet paper roll, trace the inside on a cereal box, cut it out, fit it inside the tube, glue it in place, cut two U shapes out of the leftover cereal box, bend, and glue them to the sides. Cut another circle that is slightly wider than the tube, then cut another piece of the cereal box to glue on top with a bend in the shape of a handle. Paint them. I chose to paint the inside white and the outside blue. Then speckled it with white paint. Brushed the edges lightly with black to make a pot with a lid. Cut thin strips of yellow cardstock. Then place them in the pot to look like the uncooked pasta. Another idea for a pot is to make a wide paper roll. Wrap it with more paper that's a little higher to create a recess. Add handles and paint. Then paint at the top with the extra pasta sauce to look like the sauce has been cooking. Roll recycled paper around a toothpick. Use glue to secure the ends. Paint the top and bottom silver. We used printable can labels from our blog. Cut them out and glued them on to make cans of pasta sauce and tomato paste. Cut out the box printable and the small rectangle. Glue the rectangle onto a cereal box. Cut it out. Use it as a pattern to trace several more. Cut, stack, glue. Fold the printable on the lines. Make small cuts at the ends. Wrap and glue around the paperboard to make a box of pasta. Cut popsicle sticks down to size. Sketch the outline of a spoon. Sand it with a nail file, making a small dip in one for a spoon. Glue cut pieces of a toothpick to the other to make a pasta scoop. We remove the top from a spice jar to use as a plate. Using some ideas from the shoe rack in our doll dressing room, only this time we made the top out of skinny sticks, then lined it with ones that are facing up. We made the legs thicker by gluing together three skinny sticks, then added the shelves. To make a kitchen island, cut cardstock, then wrinkle them to make basil. And you're done. Happy crafting!
want something fancier than grilled cheese, then I am just going to have to exercise my culinary talents. We want to give a shout out to Luz Gonzalez. What's up? Now where is the kitchen? Hmm, maybe it's that way. Nope, it's definitely this way. Step one, boil water. Hmm, I am going to need help. 